Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today, as always. And uh, as you can see, we're doing some more base reviews, guys. I'm going to try and make this a, uh, a couple times a week type thing. Uh, today we're doing Town Hall 9s. Uh, I got a whole bunch of new uh, things sent in, so... Uh, if yours doesn't get reviewed, guys, just try and apply what you learn from these to those bases. Uh, each time we're going to do different bases. We're going to, uh, we did Town Hall 8 last time. We're going to be doing Town Hall 9 today. Hopefully, if you guys send in some Town Hall 10s, we'll do those. We got a couple of trophy bases, a couple of farming bases today that we are going to be reviewing, but they are all Town Hall 9. So, first we have Brandon. He is a Town Hall 9, level 91, and he's got a farming base. Now, one thing that I noticed right off about this base is that even though it's farming, the resources aren't protected too well. So this is really easy to get to, this is really easy to get to, this is really easy to get to, and this is really easy to get to. Um, so one thing that you're going to want to make sure to do if you are in fact trying to protect other resources besides the Dark Elixir is try and move those in somewhere. Um, whether you switch these out and you switch these out, you switch these out, you switch these out, just so that you can protect your gold a little bit more because I imagine that you're trying to upgrade uh, your defenses and stuff like that because you can still upgrade your... Uh, you can upgrade a couple cannons. I believe you can upgrade your wizard towers, your archers, so on and so forth, your walls, etc., etc. Um, I know you can upgrade walls with Elixir now, but just make sure that you're protecting the resource that you want. So this... This, this, and this are the safest of your resources besides your Dark Elixir, obviously. So uh, just make sure that you put those there. Let's go ahead and talk about the placement of the defenses. So you have your mortars right here triangulated. Uh, if I were you, I might, I might put one of your mortars right here uh, just so that it kind of covers the base a little bit more because when you're right here, uh, you're not getting any of this up here covered, really. So I might just try and tweak that a little bit if I were you. Again, that is up to you as all of these suggestions are. Uh, your wizards look good. They are in a square, which is awesome. Your air defenses look good as well. So good job with those. I definitely like the little trap sections that you have going on in here uh, to mess up anybody that comes in. And I also like that you have your archer towers out in their own sections, again, to help out <clears throat> when it comes to defense and distracting the troops from getting into the core of the base. Your expos are a little bit close together, um, so if you wanted to, you could move them out maybe to here uh, or to where your mortars are, but that's up to you. Uh, I used to always put my mortar or my expos really close in the middle, but eventually I started moving them out more because they get the people that are trying to steal your loot out here when right now you wouldn't really be able to do that. Uh, otherwise, the base looks cool. I definitely like it. You do still have some upgrades to do, but <laughs> don't we all? Uh, the layout of it looks awesome. I love it. I think that I really love trap things like this. I need to start building more bases with traps again. I used to do that all the time when I first started doing my base builds, but I definitely like that aspect of this. Um, your Teslas are all in good spots. I definitely like the base. I don't know if, if it's a popular base or not or if you designed it, but it's a good base. Uh, just make sure that you put the most important resources right in here and you'll be good to go. Again, one thing that I always say in my videos is to spread out your resources. So you can see right here you have all resources and right here you have all resources. Spread those out so that it's a barrack resource, barrack resource type thing because that way people steal a little bit less from you. Uh, it does look like you have Archer Cannon as well, so Archer Cannon, Archer Cannon, Archer Cannon, Archer Cannon all the way around, so that looks pretty good also. Um, but yeah, good job Brandon, I like the base. We're going to move on now to Curran, uh, level 104, crushing it with the wall upgrades on this base. Again, this is another farming base. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and talk about his base now. His expos are spread out a little bit better than the previous one. The previous one, they're touching. On here, they're not, so that's good. And you do have good sections right here protecting your gold with your wizard tower. So that looks awesome. That's exactly how uh, I would do it if I were you. Your wizards look good. Your air defenses look good. And your mortars are super spread out, but <clears throat> that's okay. I know that... Uh, it's, it's somewhat effective, even though there are troops right up against this wall, the mortar's not going to be able to do any damage to them, so you just have to be aware of that, but otherwise, it, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It looks like you have a lot of archer coverage right here, right here, 
and right here, but I'm not seeing any archer towers up here at the top of the base, which is really important because right now you don't have too much air defense up there. You have an air defense and a wizard tower, but in these areas you have archers, air defense, and a uh, wizard tower to help protect. So I might, <coughs> ooh, excuse me, I might try and get uh, an archer tower up there somehow. Maybe put your king over here and bring an archer tower up there. Something along those lines because right now you have archers right next to each other uh, and archers right next to each other over there. So that's just one thing that I might consider doing up at the top of the base is bringing an archer tower up there. Um, the center of your base looks good. You got your clan castle in there. You got all your Teslas in there. Dark Elixir Queen is in there sleeping. <laughs> um, and yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't know. I definitely like these little sections that you have because those will do a great job of making the defenses or the um, offensive people attacking you patrol around the base while your wizard tower and your expos shoot at them. Uh, so that's good. I would try and fit some more uh, traps along the way. I know that you have these and these. You got one trap right here and I'm not seeing the other spring trap. Um, it's probably just hidden from me. <laughs> but I would try and spread out your spring traps all along the way. Unless you're getting attacked from right here and right here the most, you're the one that knows that. So. Uh, generally I get attacked from this side of the map and you have nothing right there but that could just be me uh, but probably 80% of the time I get f attacked from that side of the map um, otherwise I think that your base looks good you definitely did a good job of spreading out your resources and clearly you're protecting your gold so that's awesome good job current I don't think I would change too much about it uh, except maybe trying to get an archer tower up here to help protect the top portion of the base next we have uh, Julie Adden. <laughs> Julian with an at sign. Um, <clears throat> level 102, another farming base. Let's go ahead and talk about your base as well. So you've got your wizard towers protecting all your resources. So great job with that. Uh, you've got your, you've got archer towers, archer tower, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, all the way around the base. So great job with that. That is exactly what you want to do. You've got a big open section down here, kind of like a southern teaser, except you've got uh, no opening. So uh, that is good. It looks like a lot of these resources, like these would be pretty easy to get to uh, from the outside of the base. Someone could just drop down a bunch of archers. Um, the mortar probably cover, the mortar might cover uh, over to that, so you might be good there. But I would definitely try and, and pay attention to that. I might try and move those in a little bit. Maybe put your your air defense is right here and put your gold inward a little bit. Your air defenses are pretty centralized as you can see so I would definitely suggest moving these at least out just to help protect because any type of air troops that are going to be out here are going to have a big uh, wide variety of buildings to attack so your air defense should be pretty good. At this point if you leave these here and someone attacks with lava hounds they're going to come all the way in and all of these defenses are going to be distracted by the Lava Hound. But if you move your air defense out some, then less defenses are going to be distracted by the Lava Hounds that attack. So I might consider moving those out. That way you'll protect a little bit more gold um, and a little less of everything in the center of the base. A lot of times you'll see people protecting all of this with a farming base, but there's only one resource in there, and that is the Dark Elixir. So... I would try and move those out. Um, I might even move out your expos. Your base kind of looks like the first one where the expos are touching. Maybe put the expos right there where the mortars are or put them uh, right here where the <coughs> wizard towers are just because that way they can protect a little bit more because right now since they're pointing up they can probably only protect this so people can pick off the outside of your base with minions or something like that. Uh, but that's just a preference again if you want to do that or not then you'd have to figure out where to put your mortars because you wouldn't want to have two mortars this close together. Um, let's see what else we can say about this base. I, I like it. I think that it looks like it would work pretty well, but I am a little bit afraid of how exposed these resources are up here. So that's the biggest thing that I would say I would change is maybe moving those in uh, and scooting the air defenses out. But otherwise, it looks good. You've upgraded everything super well. Your wizard towers are all upgraded. Your cannons are all upgraded. 
Archer Towers look like they are all upgraded. So you're doing good when it comes to the upgrades. Uh, I would just consider moving this in right here. But again, that's up to you. Uh, let's move on. Uh, Julian, great base. We have two more bases for you guys today. This one is a trophy base. It is Justin, level 101. Uh, he definitely is level 101 probably from donating a lot or something along those lines because you do still have a lot of upgrades <clears throat> to do. All your cannons need to be upgraded except for this one down at the bottom. All of your wizard towers need to be upgraded. Your archer towers need to be upgraded. So you do have a lot of upgrading to do. So it's good that, uh, well, I was just about to say it's good that you have a farming base, but you don't. <laughs> It does look like you have a lot of gold though um, up here that you're trying to save up. So I'm, I'm happy that you have the gold protected at least. Uh, you're definitely not pushing right now. So I'm not sure if you want to have a trophy base. You're only in gold too. So if you're not going to push, switch that out. Put some resources in here and try and rearrange it so that you can protect your resources and upgrade a little bit more. Um, you did a good job of spreading out your resources, your resource collectors around the base. You have some in the center right here as well. So if anybody attacks from the bottom, they are going to get a lot. But you did a good job of upgrading those walls right there as well. The center core is pretty large. Uh, the air defenses, however, are spread out a, a good amount. So they're going to protect a, a good bit of the base. And then you, <laughs> that looks like a base. Ah. And then you have those archer towers up at the top as well, which look like they are protecting uh, pretty decent. Uh, so you have Archer, Cannon, Archer, Cannon, Archer, Cannon, Archer, Cannon, Archer, Cannon, Archer, all the way around. Good job. So the only place you have double up is right up here where those two archers are, but that is perfectly fine. <clears throat> um, your mortars are spread out pretty well. This one at the top is definitely exposed. Um, so I might consider, shoot, you only have a gold mine right in there. I would definitely switch those two out just to help protect a little bit because mortars are big, big, big. They're super important on defense. Uh, I also wouldn't have your decorations in here because all that does is tell people that there aren't bombs there or that there aren't Teslas there. So you want people to be a little bit worried about that when they attack. Uh, you did a good job of doubling up your giant bombs for if anybody attacks with hogs because that will completely crush their hogs if they're not paying attention. So good job with that. Um, your expos are touching each other in the middle. So I might spread those out. I might put an expo right here and an expo right here. Uh, and then bring the dark elixir pumps right there and then maybe bring some uh, gold into the middle or some elixir if you actually do plan on pushing. Uh, but your expos don't need to be that close in the center. If they're right here, they're going to do a lot better job of protecting your base than they are now because they can't reach the outer line, which is where a good amount of your percentage is for people to steal. So uh, that's one thing that I would do is definitely scoot your expos out to here. Um, otherwise, what else did I say? Bring your mortar into here and you look good otherwise i mean you definitely have a lot of upgrades to do but that's okay um you'll get there so yeah it's a good base justin good job donating since you are 101 uh but yeah let's go into the last base guys this is another town hall uh nine super rushed uh level 84 <clears throat> so first off uh is that kwan or un cohen khan however you say your name um this base kind of looked like the first one in the middle uh, but it is different. <clears throat> First one had traps. This one doesn't. Um, one thing that I would definitely say you need to do is upgrade your splash defenses. So you got to get your mortars and your <clears throat> wizard towers all up. Definitely do this top wizard tower first. That's super, super important. It looks like you are protecting your gold pretty well, having it the closest to the center. So that's smart. Um, you archer cannon, archer cannon, archer cannon, archer cannon, archer, archer all the way around. So good job with that. Looks like your mortars are in a good spot as well, covering the base. As are your wizards. All you need to do is upgrade them, like I was saying. Your air defenses look like they're doing well, also protecting the center core of the base. Your expos are a little bit uh, close together, just like in those other bases. So I might consider moving your expos, maybe put one of your expos right here and one of your expos right here and then move some of that gold into the center because you got to have that gold to upgrade your defenses. So definitely do that because you do need to protect your gold a little bit more. Uh, so I would consider moving an expo right here and an expo right there or you can put an expo right here and an expo right there. Again, that is up to you, but I wouldn't have those in the center right now. Right now you only have 9,000 Dark Elixir, so people aren't going to be able to steal that much from you, so I would try and protect your gold a little bit more. 
Uh, you have four builders ready, so you got to get on that farming, my man, uh, and start upgrading those defenses. But otherwise, from a layout standpoint and a defensive positioning standpoint, it looks pretty good. Uh, you do have these little sections with these traps in them, which is pretty cool. Uh, where are your other spring traps? Your other spring traps are just spread out along here. I guess that's not a bad idea. Um, it's just that they can be wasted. Somebody can drop off one barb and one barb and just take out both of them instead of losing uh, a lot more. So I might consider trying to incorporate those a little bit more, maybe putting them a little closer to the walls to help protect. But again, uh, that is up to you. Uh, biggest things for your base to uh, progress is get out of bronze one because you need to get some loot and there's probably not that much loot down in bronze one. I would get up into, uh, I don't know, maybe 12 to 1600 range, see what you can find in there uh, for farming. And then other biggest things is going to be upgrading your splash defenses. I think that this wizard needs to be the next thing that you upgrade. And then you need to upgrade your mortars one by one, <clears throat> as well as your cannons and your archers. But you'll get there eventually. You definitely rushed, but hey, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> it looks good. I would definitely move your bombs in as well, because those are going to get expensive as people drop off. So you're not going to be protecting that much loot. So the way that you need to look at using bombs is, if somebody blows up all your bombs with barch, and you only have 100,000 in gold to protect and then you have to spend 50000 or so to redo your traps, it's not really worth it. So you need to pay attention to the finances of it. That might sound stupid, but it definitely is important to do. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much. Again, send your bases to basereviewswithmold at gmail.com. Make sure that you tell me what level you are, what town hall you are, <clears throat> and whether you have a trophy or farming base. We'll probably do town hall 7s. Or lower in the next one. Uh, if we can get some Town Hall 10s, or we'll review some Town Hall 10 bases. Again, that is up to you guys. But thank you so much for the support. Thank you for sending in your video, your pictures of your bases. Make sure they are as high res as possible. You can see that uh, this one wasn't too high res. This one was pretty high res compared to the other one. So uh, definitely try and do that for me. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.